Hey everyone, Kim Levinsky here. Today is Tuesday, April 4th, and I just realized it's been like over a month since I've shared an update on the Long Path 358, and it's just been crazy town. The weeks are going by really fast. Uh, things are super busy with Sasquad. We've got a huge race on Saturday up in Bear Mountain, New York, over 300 people. It's the biggest race in Sasquad history, so that's really exciting. Uh, so I'm out here getting a little trail time at the end of my run, I thought I should just record something and put online. Otherwise, it's not going to happen for another few weeks. Um, but I wanted to show you, you know, New Jersey has this reputation of being the armpit of America, rightly so, but there are some really beautiful spots like this. This is Stoke State Forest, Branchville, New Jersey, and uh, it's just a gem. It's really, really beautiful. One of the lesser known parks in the state, and uh, I think it's my favorite state park and place to come and hang out, run, hike, and all that. So, update, update on the long path. A lot of planning going on. I feel like planning is really picking up steam. Uh, I've been working on just pouring information into the spreadsheet that I have shared with the gals here helping crew and pace. I've uh, been asking folks to come out and pace, getting some commitments, which is fun. So I feel like the, the dream team is coming together, which is really exciting. Um, what else in the spreadsheet? Working on putting together various plans. So researching all these different checkpoints or, or easy access points along the long path where I can meet up with crew. And I think that's the biggest takeaway that I'm getting from talking to other FKTers and reading blogs, watching YouTube videos, is the more planned out you can be, before the FKT, before getting out on trail for these multi-day efforts, the better off you're going to be and the easier it's going to be for crew. Um, and that's a big goal of mine is to just make it as easy as possible for crew because crewing is really hard. <laughs> it's exhausting. And I feel like crew, a lot of times, like they get uh, maybe just as much as sleep as the runner. So having been on both sides, I personally love to have things organized and planned out and I'm type A with this stuff and OCD and all that good thing. All those good things. So that's what we're working on right now is researching easy access points for crew and then coming up with, I'm going to start working on uh, like a, a A goal, B goal, C goal for each day and then providing options for crew on where we can coordinate, meet up for resupply stuff and um, also figuring out where we're going to land at the end of each day. So. Yesterday, I wanted to share as well, I got the opportunity to talk with the current FKT holder, Jeff Adams. He did the Long Path Supported a couple years ago, about seven and a half days. So we talked for like an hour and a half yesterday. And Jeff was so generous with his time and just sharing of information, which was really, really cool. So it was neat. He shared a lot on things that he learned, things that went well, things he would have done differently, ideas that he had. Uh, so he was super gracious and I really, learned a lot from that talk and he drove home the point as well with just the planning on the front end the more that you can do to help yourself and crew ahead of time the better off and more enjoyable it's going to be for the overall experience so that's a big takeaway um we were yeah he was joking oh i don't know why i'm helping if this is gonna like allow you to break the fkt and you know he quickly said well records are made to be broken and it's true and that's what's so cool about the trail and ultra community is that time and time again you just see people helping each other out and especially with the FKT community I feel like people really want to see each other succeed which is really neat but um I assured Jeff that that's not my that's not the main goal for me I mean if that happens that's insane and really cool but the goal for me is to get out there and find uh find my own limits and test my own limits and to enjoy the journey experience with crew. Um, and it's gonna be a mix of suffering and a lot of type two fun, uh, but I think it's gonna be a really special experience. Uh, we were also joking, Jeff and I, about how like, you, you know, you find your demons out there, especially with these long multi-day efforts. And I told him, I mean, I feel like that's another goal of mine for this long, for the long path journey is um, is I have some questions for those demons that I met at Tahoe 200. So I would like to find them. And he assured me that I will most definitely find the demons. And it might in fact be on the devil's path in the Catskills, <laughs> uh, which I, 
I agree. He's probably right with that. Um, so training wise, things have been going really well. I've been able to recon a bunch of spots on the long path. Uh, last weekend, I got out with a friend and we did another 20 or so miles on the long path um, up near the Goshen area at Wallkill. So that was that was good intel to check out those trails. Um, hoping to get out another couple times this spring. And then in May, I'm gonna be going to the Catskills doing a long weekend with Robin and Dina who are doing that section with me. Um, but in a couple weeks, the three of us are going out to the Grand Canyon to do rim to rim to rim, which is really exciting. Um, it'll be my second time out there and hopefully we're gonna be able to do the full uh, rim to rim to rim. There is some trail damage out on the north side uh, on the north rim. So we'll see what ends up happening if we can do the, the complete route. route. But um, that's exciting. And yeah, just super busy with Sasquatch events and um, the long path stuff. So all good from here. I'm excited for the next few weeks. Training's gonna start ramping up. Had a little setback this last week with some nagging Achilles issues. So I cut back volume and just been getting a couple of extra sessions in the weight room hitting the heavy strength training, um, getting some good help from PT friends, which has been awesome. So I'm already feeling a lot better. I'm still gonna cut volume this week and then build back up leading into the Grand Canyon in a couple weeks. Um, so that's about it. Thanks for tuning in for this short update. Hopefully in another couple weeks, I'll get back on my computer and I could show you more of the back end in the spreadsheet and share uh, what that looks like. I'm gonna sh I'll show you too a big uh, New York state paper atlas I picked up that I'm going to be using for crew and really just pouring into that, filling out, uh, highlighting various st stops that we can do along the way. So that is it. I'm going to wrap it up here and thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next update.